Hello, and welcome to UConn Waterbury. My name is Carolyn Freer, and I'm the Admissions and Recruitment Manager for the Undergraduate Admissions Office. I will be your guide throughout this virtual tour of our campus, so let's get started. The UConn Waterbury campus is located in the heart of downtown. Students and the general public can access the campus through an entrance on East Main Street or through the Yukon parking garage, which is attached to the main campus building with a driveway entrance located on North Elm Street. Inside the main lobby, you'll find our Yukon police substation. There are two on-duty police officers who patrol the campus from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily. The Yukon bookstore is also located in the main lobby and sells textbooks and required materials for all courses. Food items such as drinks, snacks, microwavable meals, and freshly brewed coffee can also be purchased at the bookstore. The information desk is where you can go to borrow sporting equipment for use in our courtyard, as well as paddles for table tennis or for lost and found items. The undergraduate admissions office is also located in the main lobby. The Yukon Waterbury Library is one of the most popular spaces on campus. Hours are posted online each semester and also outside the entrance. Library assistants can recommend scholarly publications or books and direct you to online databases that hone in on your specific topic. Students can also borrow books from other libraries within the UConn campus system and have them sent to our Waterbury location within two to three business days with no fee. The library has multiple Mac and Dell desktops on the first floor for student use, as well as three scanner kiosks, which allow you to digitize any physical book or journal. Students can also borrow laptops, iPads, and video equipment for extended periods of time for class projects. Study rooms are located on all three floors of the library and can be reserved for individual use or group projects. All rooms are equipped with large flat screen monitors and cables to plug into laptops. Walking to the other end of the first floor of the main campus, you will find our multi-purpose room, often referred to as the MPR. The room has two wall dividers and can be broken up into three smaller rooms to be used as classroom space or for small events. Student clubs and organizations can also reserve these rooms for functions. Our student lounge is also located on the far side of the first floor of campus and is a popular gathering space for students. It also has two office spaces for the associated student government and the student activities director. The lounge has microwaves for student use, a foosball table, couches, and a flat screen television with video game consoles. Staying on the same side of the main campus building and heading to the second floor, you will find multiple classrooms, faculty offices, and the tutoring center. Student tutors and faculty offer group sessions in the following subjects, accounting, biology, chemistry, economics, math, psychological sciences, Spanish, and statistics. There is also a study and life skills coach who can help students develop effective study plans and work on time management skills. On the other side of the second floor is the student services suite. This is the hub for advising within the Academic Center for Exploratory Students. Other offices within the suite include the Bursar, Financial Aid, Registrar, the Center for Career Development, Education Abroad, Honors, and Special Programming. Students can schedule an appointment through the Nexus portal to meet with an advisor or walk in for an appointment. Further down the hallway from the Student Services Suite, you will also find the Center for Academic Programs, which supports the SSS program, a full-time case manager and a clinical social worker who can meet with students regarding personal issues and students in crisis, as well as a coordinator from the Center for Students with Disabilities who can develop individualized education plans for students needing accommodation in the classroom. We'll now go to the third floor of the main campus building where you'll find the large high-tech classrooms, room 333, which can seat up to 90 students, and room 327, which can seat up to 60 students. Across the hallway from these classrooms is an observation room, which is used by research assistants in the psychological sciences major. Here we see a student research assistant and a faculty member from the Cognition Action and Psychophysiology Lab, better known as the CAP Lab, conducting a clinical study with a child test subject. The room is also used by the Neuroscience Lab and the Adolescent and Adult Anxiety Lab. Across the main campus building on the other side of the third floor is the Science Wing. There are three science labs offering the first two years of curriculum for all science-related majors. The physics lab, where students in the physics and first year majors in the School of Engineering conduct their studies. The biology lab, which is not only for biological sciences majors, but also for students taking courses in majors like ecology, nutrition and dietetics, and allied health sciences. 
and the Chemistry Lab, which is for students completing introductory coursework in majors like pharmacy, biomedical engineering, and all chemistry-related fields. The main campus building was purposely built as a U, with the center being taken up by our courtyard space. In the nice weather, you'll often see students, faculty, and staff taking advantage of this sheltered outdoor space. Students can sit at patio tables and enjoy lunch with friends or study between classes, or just sit and listen to the sounds of the flowing water from our iconic brass fountain. There is also a volleyball net and basketball court for pickup games. Now we head across East Main Street to the Rectory Building. There is a crosswalk that leads directly to the front doors of the Palace Theater, where many of our students find employment opportunities in the box office or artistic administration offices, and enjoy concerts and shows year-round. The doors to the Rectory Building are located right next to the Palace Theater, and the Rectory offers two floors of additional class space, conference rooms for group study, and is also the home to the administration and faculty offices for our School of Business undergraduate majors. There is also an event space and full kitchen on the fourth floor of the building for community and school related activities. This concludes the virtual tour of the Yukon Waterbury campus. If you would like to learn more about our academic offerings or additional visit opportunities, please visit our website at waterbury.yukon.edu. Thank you and have a great day.